Hey y'all, today's journey is going to be from Mangalore to Chennai by the West Coast Express. This train is about 60 years old, it will turn 60 in 2025 and shares its rakes or coaches with the legendary Mangalore Chennai Mail. This is more than 150 years old. So this is Mangalore Central Station. The time now is 10.15pm. My train doesn't depart until 11.45. You see all this crowd waiting outside the station. Most of these are for the West Coast Express. They are waiting here because Platform 1 from which the West Coast departs is currently being occupied by the Mangalore Central Gachi Vivek Superfast Express. That's a weekly train and is the longest running train originating from Mangalore Central right now. This station is more than a century old at this point. It was inaugurated in 1907 and the longest running train ran from here all the way up to Peshawar in the present day Pakistan. The train still runs to this day although its services are curtailed and it runs only between Chennai and New Delhi. So the station has got a lot of history associated with it. It's a pretty old station. However, it hasn't developed over the years. There was another train which used to run until recently. That was until Covid struck. And that was the Navyug Express which ran from Mangalore to Jamutavi and later to Sri Mata Vaishno Devi Katra. That was in Kashmir. That train has now been cancelled for some stupid reasons. So currently the longest running train from here is the Santragachi bound Vivek Express, which departs on Saturdays. So that train is waiting on platform number one right now. And once it vacates that platform, our train, that's the West Coast Express, will be shunted in. So the one day Bharat Express from Matgaon has just arrived. It's arrived about 20 minutes before time and the passengers have mostly vacated the station. So right now the oldest running train from this station is the Chennai Mail, which is the rake sharing partner of our train, that's the West Coast Express. The Chennai Mail started running in the 1800s, the mid 1800s and still runs to this day. Initially it ran between Chennai and Baypur, which is in Calicut, the present day Calicut. It was later extended to Mangalore. So that's the oldest mail train and is popularly known as the 1 and 2 mail. So this is the Santragachi bound Vivek Express and just look at the crowd in the general compartments. And this is the originating station for this train and it's already super packed. So that's our train being reverse shunted onto the platform. So this is my seat, 71, it's a side lower berth right next to the door. Power hasn't been turned on to the coach yet. This coach is a seat by the way. Maintenance seems to be alright, it's quite clean. And we have departed from Angola Central. Okay. 
That's the Madhva Mangalore Vande Bharat Sinti Rek. It now shares its rates with the Trivandrum Mangalore Vande Bharat, which was recently extended to Mangalore from Kasaragod. So we have now joined the main line from Mangalore Junction entering the Netravati River Bridge Road. This is our first scheduled haul.
We are departing from Kanyan Guard Station. So it's 3 5 a.m. now, and we have reached Cold Code. So we have reached Palgar Junction. And that's the Trivandrum Chennai Superpass departing towards Trivandrum. So we are departing from Palakkad Junction on time at 6 a.m. It's going to be a non-stop run to Coimbatore. It's still quite dark outside. The section from Palaga to Bhaimato is quite scenic. We will be crossing the Palaga Gap, which is a mountain pass, and the Western Ghat Ranges. Skipping Kanji Court Station, after which both the lines take different alignments. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is not a double line section, but rather a twin single line section. So both the lines can be used as either up or down lines. Those are the magnificent western guard mountain ranges and our train will cut across those mountains through what's known as the Palgar Gap which is basically a mountain pass.
Walayar station where both up and down lines run together for a short distance before separating again. the lines have separated again. Both up and down lines are back together again.
so we are pulling into Podhanur Junction. Now, like I said earlier, the lines from Potanur Junction to Palghat are twin single line sections and they are not called up and down lines but rather A and B lines. So the line which we are on right now is the B line, the other line is the A line. Now trains like the Mangalore Chennai Mail and the Mangalore Chennai Superfast stop at Potanur Junction and bypass Coimbatore Main Station. However, this train is an exception that it stops at both the stations. So that train that you see right there is a tourist circuit train called the Bharat Gaurav and it's operated by a company called South Star Rail. We are early at Podanur Junction by a few minutes. My scheduled departure is only at 7.10. The station is not crowded unlike the Coimbatore main station. That's Coimbatore Junction. This is platform 1 of Podanur Junction. So we've departed from Padanu Junction on time at 7.10. Next stop is going to be Coimbatore Junction, which is just a short hop from here. So this will be my first time going beyond E Road on the Chennai line. I mean, I've traveled up to E Road while going to Velangani, but I haven't gone beyond E Road towards Salem. So this is going to be my first time on that line. So the rightmost line is the Coimbatore Bypass line. So trains like the Mangalore Chennai Mail and the Mangalore Chennai Superfast take that line to bypass Coimbatore Junction. There's some train approaching on the other line. Let's see what train that is. That's the Gorakhpur Kochaveli Rapti Sagar Express. Our train is being hauled by a VAP4 locomotive, which I think belongs to either Arkonam or Rayapuram shed. So some LHB rake is being shunted out of Coimbatore station, and that's the reason we've been halted at Coimbatore router. Finally, after a long wait of about 20 minutes, we've been allowed to enter Coimbatore junction. So this is the Chinnakulam lake.
There's a huge crowd waiting for this train here. We've arrived on platform number two.